let me say good morning to everyone. The, the safest place in the city of Houston is right here in the Legacy Room uh, this, this morning. Um, and let me just say I am, I am joined this morning with, uh, with police and fire, the sheriff, the FBI, you name it, uh, law enforcement in general. Uh, from the entire Houston Harris County Harris County region, uh, we're excited. And we're exactly one month away from hosting Super Bowl Fifty One, um, and we want you to know this morning that the city of Houston and Harris County, we are ready. A lot has changed in Houston since the last time we hosted this big event in two thousand and four. For starters, we are now the most diverse metropolitan area in the nation. We've transformed our airports. We've added hundreds of new hotel rooms. We've expanded the convention center and developed Discovery Green, which along with the GR, uh, GRB and the NRG Stadium will be ground zero for, for the fans to come here to the city of Houston. A lot of planning, and I mean a lot of planning, has gone into making sure everyone will have fun, feel safe, and get to where they are going with the least amount of inconvenience. I am joined today by Houston Police Chief Art Acevedo, Fire Chief Sam Pena, the Harris County Sheriff Ed Gonzalez, and representatives of the Department of Homeland Security, as well as Mr. Turner from the FBI. And sometimes people get us confused. <laughs> These are the agencies that will be working together to ensure this is the best Super Bowl from a public safety standpoint. And, the, and this morning, the emphasis is on public safety. We have studied how other cities have handled security and have gained valuable experience from hosting similar sporting events like the recent NCAA Final Four. And let me add, Hosting major large events in the city of Houston and Harris County is not something new to this city. We have done it time and time again, and we have done it extremely well. Houston has a proven track record in this area. We have spent months anticipating the problems and have created a support structure that is equipped to respond. I want to stress that just because you don't see us doesn't mean that we are not there. A lot of the public safety coordination for these events takes place behind the scenes. Uh, it is meant to be seamless and unobtrusive. I want to encourage everyone to help with uh, be our eyes and ears during this major event. Don't dismiss anything that doesn't seem quite right. And as the saying goes, if you see something, please say something. You can report suspicious activity at iwatchhouston.org or by calling one 84 Five, five, I watch four. Uh, this is a 10 day event that is going to draw hundreds of thousands of visitors to our city. There will be events held all around the city. There will be traffic, there will be crowds, and it's going to be a lot of fun as well. Come February 5th, 30 days from now, the whole world is going to be watching Houston. We can't wait to showcase our prowess for hosting safe and fun major sporting events, as well as our cultural diversity, award-winning restaurants, vibrant nightlife, theaters, museums, and the beautiful downtown Houston. The welcome mat is out for Super Bowl 51 fans, and we know what has to be done, and we are going to deliver. But the message this morning uh, from all of us to the people in this city, to the people in this region, and folks for those who will come is that Houston is ready and people will be safe. At this time, let me call on uh, Police Chief Art Oscillator. Thank you, Mayor, and good morning, everyone. Art Oscillator, Chief of Police, honored to be here. Uh, I think it's very important, as the Mayor said, that the preparations for this event didn't just begin yesterday, last month, last year. It's been three years in the making. Uh, I want Houstonians, we all want Houstonians to know that we have leveraged the partnerships of, of the federal government, the state, the county, and obviously our regional partners at the local level. And most importantly, it's not just a police operation, but it's truly a multidisciplinary operation that includes the fire department, EMS, 
uh, every city department to ensure that every aspect of municipal operations continue to run safely. Uh, most importantly, this is a SEER 1 event, which means that is the highest level of protection and resource allocation from the federal partners. We will have assets from around the country responding to this region. I want to, again, thank the other Turner, the, the TNT here, uh, Perry Turner from the FBI for that fantastic uh, partnership in the HSI, Mahomes Dam Security, uh, from the federal government that has been here from day one planning. It's important for people to uh, know that truly the, despite what you see and you don't see, the number one force multiplier that we have as public safety officials is truly the community that we protect and that we serve. It's important for everyone to be vigilant, uh, be safe, but more importantly, when you see something that seems out of place, don't assume that it's just a coincidence. Report it. We're going to have plenty of resources out throughout the city, throughout the region. Report anything that you see that re appears to be out of place, that seems suspicious. And as Mayor Turner said, if you see something, uh, say something. The other challenge is plan ahead. Uh, we're going to have a lot of traffic, uh, both pedestrian traffic and vehicular traffic. And our work doesn't just uh, will begin. You will start seeing within two weeks Houston police officers controlling traffic in and around the convention center as we start putting up the temporary uh, structures that will be needed for the fun events that are coming. And so that work will begin within the next uh, two weeks, uh, well before the Super Bowl. Uh, lastly, what I, what I want to reiterate to the community again is that uh, this is a time to showcase the excellence of Houston, Texas, to showcase the welcoming nature and spirit of Houston, Texas, not just Houston, but of Texas and our great nation. And uh, we expect viewership around the world to be higher than ever, and we expect to have a lot of people here. I met yesterday, Mayor, Mr. Mayor, with the airport. Uh, our partners, your director at the airports, they're ready. They've got lots of plans to make sure that we maintain the efficiency and people coming and going uh, safely, but more importantly, quickly, so nobody's impacted and that we keep everybody safe. So I look forward to it. And again, we are ready and we look forward to this challenge. Thank you. Good morning, uh, Mayor Turner. Thank you and distinguished guests and colleagues. My name is Sean McElroy. I'm the Deputy Special Agent in Charge with Homeland Security Investigations here in Houston. It's my honor to serve as the Department of Homeland Security's Federal Coordinator in support of Super Bowl 51 in this great city of Houston. The federal government's committed to supporting our state, local, and private sector partners to ensure the safety and security of Super Bowl 51s and the events leading up to the big day. As the designated representative for DHS, I have been honored to support the public safety and security efforts that have been led by the Houston Police Department, the Houston Fire Department, the City of Houston, Harris County, and the National Football League. As with all Super Bowls, the federal coordination team is responsible for coordinating integrated planning of federal resources from over 20 different federal agencies. During these formidable times, we must be agile, we must be alert, and relentlessly adapt. We must always remember to be eternally vigilant, but we cannot let threats affect our daily life or our American heritage and pride. With this said, the city of Houston and the NFL are hosting some great events in the coming month, which will be incredible for all the fans and the city of Houston. All of these events are managed by the amazing leadership that you see here in Houston, working as one cohesive unit to ensure many enjoyable and safe Super Bowl events. None of this would have been possible, of course, without the help from our private sector as well, including the NFL, the host committee, and other stakeholders who are pulling together in order to highlight our great city here in Houston. So thank you, everybody, for the opportunity to represent the Department of Homeland Security for you in this incredible occasion. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Perry Turner. Uh, special agent in charge of the, uh, the Houston uh, FBI office. Uh, the FBI is just one of many local, state, and federal law enforcement agencies who have come together to provide as safe as an environment as possible uh, for all the events associated with Super Bowl 51. Speaking on, on behalf of my office, we are proud to serve alongside the men and women of this strong, cooperative public service community. Houston Police Department and Fire Department have the primary responsibility for overall physical security and emergency management for Super Bowl 51. 
The FBI is supporting Houston police and fire departments before, during, and after this event. We are sharing intelligence, augmenting manpower resources, and providing te technical, analytical, and other assets which will be in place and ready to respond immediately to address any safety concerns or threats that may arise. Let me quickly state, we have no credible threats associated or connected to this event at this time. Each agency represented here has hosted or attended dozens of meetings and training exercises with our local, state, and federal law enforcement partners. We continue to review and refine security procedures. Residents and visitors during Super Bowl week won't be overwhelmed by public displays of heavy security. As the mayor has eloquently stated, we want people to enjoy these events. Despite all of our high-tech and investigative efforts, it is important to note that sometimes our most important information doesn't come by way of technology, but from the public. Protecting our city is a partnership amongst law enforcement and the public. As always, we need your help uh, to keep our community and events safe. Please remain aware of your surroundings and report any suspicious activity uh, to law enforcement. Thank you again. Uh, Mayor Turner, uh, Chief Acevedo, Chief Pena, and all our public safety uh, leaders up here, and uh, uh, Council Member Knox, good to see you here as well. Uh, Mayor, thank you for hosting us this morning. Uh, on behalf of the uh, Harris County Sheriff's Office, on behalf of Commissioner's Court, and all our local uh, county partners, we're very excited uh, to be uh, taking, uh, taking place uh, with uh, Super Bowl 51 activities. Uh, we've been planning now for uh, several years, as you've heard, and we're very, uh, very happy to be assisting in federal uh, and local efforts to make sure that we have a presence in their command centers at the event, along with monitoring all sanctioned and non-sanctioned activities that will take place in Harris County. And we're very excited, as the mayor stated, uh, you know, we're used to hosting big events, and every uh, event is very unique. And so we'll make sure that we're ready to respond to anything that comes up. Uh, we're there to help one another and uh, make sure that everyone has a great uh, and enjoyable experience while visiting our great city and our region. Uh, we know that the eyes of the world will be upon us, and we want to make sure that we continue to highlight our area in a very positive way and show that hospitality that we're known known for. And so we ask all citizens to please participate in that, have fun, show that, that great Houston-Harris County spirit, and uh, look forward to everyone having a, a great time. And I'm a big sporting uh, fan, uh, but on this particular Super Bowl, I'm make sure that we're clearly focused on public safety. That's going to be our number one priority, to make sure that everybody else enjoys the game. And I'd like to take a, a point of personal privilege just to recognize uh, Chief Coleman with the Harris County Sheriff's Office, because while I'm the face of the Sheriff's Office now, he's the one that's been leading the effort uh, and will be running point on our response, and it's in very capable hands, so I'm very proud of him. He's been um, involved from the beginning. so. Uh, we look forward to participating in, and offering our support to the greater efforts. Thank you all. Well, that concludes the speakers. Are there any questions for any of these uh, individuals? Yeah, yes, let me get with this, this young woman first. I think the main thing is uh, bring clear bags. I mean, that's um, similar to what's happening right now, right? Similar to what's happening right now. So uh, clear bags, you know, none of the big bags that you cannot see, but clear bags would be the best thing. Quite frankly, to bring as little to the game as possible <laughs> would be my best advice. Bring yourself and your ticket. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yourself, the ticket, the money, or credit cards. You know, all of those things. Everything else, leave at home. But clear bags, and I think that will help everybody. Else. And, I, and I think that's an that's a excellent point to make, and that is uh, the law enforcement will do their part, uh, but people need to do their part as well. Okay, so don't, don't complicate it. Don't make it more difficult. And don't slow it down. Uh, just bring yourself and your ticket and your, and your money or your ability to pay when you get there. Yes, sir. Who wants to take that? 
I, I can just tell you, we're not, I'm not going to talk about the specifics of the, uh, the, the security measures because, quite frankly, if somebody wants to try something, we don't need to tell them exactly what we're going to do. We're going to utilize every strategy, every effort, every intelligence capability to make sure people are safe. But I think that the mayor said, and I'm going to say it again, the most important piece is that intelligent piece. And quite frankly, when you have 6 million people living in this region, uh, 26 million, whatever it is in our state, there are the eyes and ears. And if you hear something, see something, see something out of, uh, out of place, just let us know. But we're not going to talk about specifics just to tell you that we intend on keeping it safe. And I'll let him answer that, but let me correct the first part of your question, because there are nowhere in numbers that are reflecting four to 600, okay? So let me, I'm not going to know, I don't, I, let's not just pick numbers out of the air. So based on what we are seeing right now, and those who have indicated it, it's nowhere close to 400. So having said all of that, uh, and, and, and mayor, uh, the mayor is absolutely correct. We're, we're actually what was projected in terms of retirements. We're not seeing those numbers. There's fewer people uh, signing up than we thought there were going to be. But let's say 600, that leaves uh, almost 5,000 cops running around here. And guess what? Everybody that has a, a badge, everybody that carries a gun uh, under this administration and the leadership of the mayor will be all hands on deck. So we're not worried about that. We have sufficient resources. And we will never let institutional pride stand in the way where for some reason uh, some unforeseen reason we need uh, help, we'd ask for that help, but we don't, we don't see any, any shortcomings in our plan and we don't see any, any uh, reason to fear anything. The answer to that is yes. <laughs> See, I'm learning from my mayor already. <laughs> now, I'm not putting it up, but uh, <laughs> any other? Yes, ma yes, ma'am. I'm sorry. No, what I, all hands on deck is in reference to, the, you know, if all of a sudden you lose a bunch of officers that retire, I'm not worried about that. We're going to have plenty of police officers, plenty of people and roles that uh, they will all be part of keeping this city safe, whether it's the Super Bowl or it's the rodeo or it's every day, uh, there's going to be a new approach to policing in Houston that will be a, a great approach. And that's coming. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Let me just say this. I, I'll, be, I'll take this one, Mayor, that's okay. We are not going to talk about specific security. The answer is no, we cannot comment. So let's save time by not asking questions that we're not going to answer. That's like saying, hey, would you want us to put out any vulnerabilities? We're not going to talk about specifics. Sorry. Uh, we're going to do our job. We're not going to worry about open carrying. Quite frankly, one of the great things about Texans is that uh, gun, guns are part of our culture, but the vast majority of Texans are very thoughtful. They understand that with rights comes responsibility, and I'm convinced that the open carry will not be an issue because most folks don't want to become part of the problem and create unnecessary tensions and, and challenges for law enforcement. This is a time, I think, for all Texans not to make political statements by trying to exercise rights. This is a time where we need to use common sense and good judgment uh, to make sure that uh, our visitors, our, our teams, our workers, our officers, and everyone's safe. There, there are strategies to make sure we need everyone we have, and again, I don't think that's really that important to talk about. It's a comprehensive. It's a comprehensive deployment, 
and again, everyone will play a role, but the specifics aren't really that important. I just, just know that every single agency you see up here, whether it's traffic or security at the game or security at planned events and unplanned events, everyone's playing a role, and the specific roles may change. You know, operational needs will dictate who's doing what, but we have plenty of contingency plans. You know, I got to call out uh, Chief Bunick and Chief uh, Slinkert who have done a phenomenal job planning for this. We are ready, and the bottom line is, you know, we can speculate and we can talk about who's doing what, but uh, again, this is about a team and with a singular focus, and that's keeping Houston, Texas, our visitors, our residents, and everyone coming into town safe and having a good time. That's the FAA will take uh, lead on that. But uh, remember, this is a this is a SEER one operation, which I can tell you that there will be plenty of assets from all levels of government, including the Department of Defense, that will maintain the security and the safety of people in this city. Absolutely, and I, Mayor, do you want to talk about that a little bit? But the bottom line is this, use public transit as much as possible. Plan ahead, leave your car at home, carpool, and not just for the game day, but when you're coming to the downtown area for that operational period for about 10 days, the, the more of us that, uh, and if you're not coming to, uh, to enjoy the festivities, you know, Houston's a 700 square mile city with restaurants and all kinds of good things to do throughout the city. So if you don't want to be stuck in traffic, you don't, don't drive and be part of the problem, but plan ahead. Let me just say for all major events, just like for the rodeo, there are special traffic management plans of that are put in place. I know special events for the city of Houston has coordinated a lot of that. And so um, I am sure several weeks of, uh, before uh, the Super Bowl takes place, so those traffic plans will be announced. But for every major event, certainly when it comes to the NRG, or even with respect to downtown, um, there is always traffic management. Uh, and a lot of this coordination, not just for traffic management, for law enforcement, please bear in mind, uh, that coordinate coordination has been taking place over the last two years. So, I mean, a number of these individuals, for example, were at Super Bowl 50 in, in um, San Francisco, uh, watching and observing what was taking place then. But even a year before Super Bowl 50, the coordination in the city of Houston was already, had already commenced. And so over the last two years, this is not where we're ramping up uh, this month, getting ready for an event that's taking place in 30 days, and quite frankly, in two or three weeks, because people will start arriving here. But the law enforcement coordination uh, has been ongoing for over the last two years uh, to be seamless, the point of today is to demonstrate to you it's not just HPD, it's HPD, it's Harris County, it's uh, Homeland Security, it's the FBI, and many, many other law enforcement partners uh, that are not here that you do not see. Uh, that's the point that we want to emphasize. It's not just any one person's responsibility. This is a regional event, okay? The Super Bowl just is not for the city of Houston, it's for the region. And so the coordination uh, has been multi-level, -le from the feds to the state to the, to the city to the county and even below. Uh, and it and is intended to be seamless. And we wanted, what we are wanting to say to the general public, we're gonna, we, no stone will be left undone. Everything that we need to do, we have done and will do that the people that come here, live here, visiting, attending this event, that they will be safe. We're not going to announce the specifics, but I can assure you everything that conceivably could be done will be done in this city, okay? Whatever New York can do, we can do better, <laughs> okay? And at the same time, we can have some fun. Now, the reality is, you know, I'm not going to be able to play because I've got to watch, make sure the security. So I'm not going to be on the field uh, this year. <laughs> but, but, I w but I will be attending the events 10 days before leading up to it. Okay? I'm going to be out there uh, having a wonderful time. Discovery Green, I intend to be out there around the NRG, Midtown, Gallup, wherever it's going to be. Um, and so um, this is our opportunity to showcase what we can do in our region to protect people 
and at the same time have people have a lot of fun. But there will be an extensive traffic management uh, program. Let me just take my one last. Yeah, the, my advice is stay away from crowded areas and, uh, and, and anything around the stadium. There'll be like a NOTAM, uh, restricted airspace. You cannot fly any drones. You can't fly anything around there. So stay away from the stadium uh, because you may not have that drone by the time we're done with it. Yeah, and all the planned events. Uh, it is a security issue. And so if you fly a drone, you may not get it back in the near future. Thank you all for being here. Councilman Mike Knox, let me recognize Councilman Mike Knox at large uh, for being present. Thank you. Let me thank all of you for being present. And then we'll see you, uh, this is what, January the 5th. People start arriving, really the press and reporters start arriving probably mid-January uh, in our city. And so let's, um, uh, let's get ready to play some football, okay? <laughs>